Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's have another relaxing 100%ing session, hopefully, and do 1-3, the cave of Chomp Rock. And by the way, there's a little hidden secret up here. Can you see that on the camera? Can you see that? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's, it takes, it takes a little while for it to show up for the frame rates to match up and whatnot, but okay. <laughs> But at least you can hear the sound effect. Now you see how that you can change the size of the piranha plants by just moving away from them. Well, you can actually still kill them when they when they're in tiny form like that, and that that kind of kind of reduces their health on the more tougher piranha plants. Just put it that way. And uh, oh boy, it's a chomp rock, and it's rolling along. How's it going? Woo! Pound the ground! Press down on the D paddle in the air to make Yoshi pound the ground! This move has many uses. It rocks! But unfortunately, you can only pound one segment at a time in this game. Whee! Oh jeez! Oh, stars all over the place! Stars, gimme, give gimme! Give there we go! <laughs> oh jeez! I lost my rock. This is the kind of rock that despawns. The. the. Tannish ones do not, the grayish ones do, so yeah, keep that in mind. I'm just gonna have it kind of push me along there, because I'm having a good time, not pressing anything on the D-pad, and we're gonna push it up past this hill and let it go along, and yeah, we're just, we're just gonna keep this rock as long as humanly possible, which can take a little while to do. <laughs> I think it's a red coin, yeah, I thought so. So yeah, see, stuff hidden where there is posts at times. I just realized, I just despawned the rock. Dang it! <laughs> wonder if I should just... Uh, actually, this would have been the point that I'd lose the rock anyway, because, yeah. But I think if you get the rock to certain points, it'll actually kick up a uh, goodie. So I think if I get it to the very end of this particular segment, I'll be able to get a goodie from it. So that rock is actually getting away from me. It's faster than I am. Uh, nope, no goodie here. Unless, unless... Nope, guess not. <laughs> and there are two controller configurations for egg throwing. Would you like to switch? No, no, I like my patience. Not, no hasty, please. Another rock there, but we're not going there just yet. Uh, actually, um... Um, 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 hmm, hmm, I'll push it this way for kicks. <laughs> oh shoot, I just, oh, oh, thought I almost despawned it there. Uh oh, it's stuck. Uh oh, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we're going, we're going. Oh yeah, see if you get it, get a chomp rock through a certain spot, you can make stuff appear like those question mark things. I should despawn and I'll be able to respawn it the other way if I go far enough away from it because it's that grayish style of chomp rock. There we go. And then we continue. Uh, a little midpoint. Oh wait, where's that? Oh shoot, I just split it. Oh no 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 I need, I need the stars. I need the stars. Dang it. Oh boy. That, that could be troublesome. <laughs> oh wait. Oops, I didn't mean to hit the select button. <laughs> I slipped off the A button and touched my Y button, which is the select button on this particular control configuration. Uh, so yeah, there's a key there. That leads to a mini game, I do believe. And these rocks just sort of kind of pool ball each other around here. Yeah, so it's kind of good. Whee! <laughs> I almost got knocked into... Oh, there we go. And then I'll be able to get myself back up to 30 stars nicely. Uh, anything over... Here, no, no, I guess not. Oh, by the way, those little baby piranha plants are called nippers, I do believe, so anyway. And nothing there, I just want to make sure I've got the area cleared out, as I said, because ju just in case there is some sort of stuff to oh geez. No, you don't. No spawning from spores, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, oh, that crate up there, that, that's the thing that contains the key that I am looking for. Gotta pop those blue- oh wait, no, the key's right here. <laughs> what does this contain? Oh, stars, slow down, no, 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 slow down. No, 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 you're not, you're not allowed to slow down like that, no, no, no. Actually, there's a lot of stuff on the screen there and it didn't really mess me up. Because I wasn't, wasn't in the danger of anything. I hit the crates when it was in a safe spot. 
I will get that midpoint in a second here, don't worry. <laughs> I'll just, I'll go back after the segment here, because then I know after those triple posts there, that's like the, the segment that I have completed. Uh, wait, actually, hold on, hold on. I might as well use this key, because the key, when it's in my inventory here, it actually uses up space for the eggs, so while I got one key, I can only carry five eggs, two keys, four eggs, etc., etc. Anyway, mini game, mini game. Woo! Throwing balloons. I throw the balloons. Press the button. Sequences as shown. The game time is limited. If the balloon pops on you, you lose. If you win, you collect the one up. It's hot potato, but with an inflating balloon. Uh oh, he made a mistake. That's uh. Bandit is just doing terrible there, Huck. <laughs> So you go, da, 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 pass it over, and the idea is to make it pop on your opponent, basically, and yeah, just follow the control sequences, and don't go, don't go too quick, otherwise you might find yourself having issues, but also pay attention to the size of the balloon. The first time you play this game, you're not going to know how close the balloon is to popping, because you're not going to be aware of what the balloon looks like in size when it's about to pop. In this case, it's about to pop for me, so I'm just gonna try and pass it along there. There we go! <laughs> you gotta sort of kind of time that. Yeah, it's something that takes practice to recognize, but since it's an optional minigame, it, I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. Because a lot of the minigames are luck based. Anyway, let's get that one up panel and it would be like, Woo, we're out of here! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the, you know, minigames, they're, they're just there to potentially get one-ups and other goodies and stuff like that. They're not really necessary for completing the games, but there are fun little, little side minigames there that are more skill-based, though, so I'll definitely be going through all of them. <laughs> okay, so remember with the three posts? Yep. And I'm at full health, so I'm not gonna destroy that crate and get more stars, because... I just don't want to kind of risk losing any sort of extra stars that I may need to utilize in case I take hits. Because as you see, there's a lot, of, a lot of enemies that bombard you from above, and that could cause issues. Maybe, might be. And, well, oh wait, actually I just realized something. What if I push the rock back into that little elk? Oh shoot! What if I... <laughs> that's why I left the crate. But yeah, what if I push that rock back in this alcove instead? Like, will this do give me something different? Ah, uh, no it won't. Okay. I'll just despawn that rock. Well, actually, now I should get this. <laughs> um, nipper, nipper, nipper... Woo! Yeah, if you bounce off an enemy and then do a hover, hover jump, yeah, you can sort of kind of get them all, I mean, get a much higher flutter jump. It's a, I guess, I guess you could say a more expert level technique of sorts. And anyway, okay, careful, careful, careful. Just don't want it to... Uh, I, I thought I was gonna get, like, stuck on something, maybe, if it, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> uh, oh wait, hold on a sec, this is one of those pipes you can go down, that's right. And I'll just respawn that rock anyway, but... Mm, uh, I'm at full full egg health, so... This is actually a way for me to get the, the star eggs. Yeah, like I showed you before. If I wanted to, but... Yeah, otherwise you can just kind of... Repl replicate them by just getting those lantern ghosts to pop up over and over and over again. And yeah, you can just get yourself stars unlimited! Yes! Oh, I need that rock. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, the enemies won't respawn if you eat them and, or kill them unless you go outside the area and then come back, basically. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. You do get stuck here if you... Yeah, because of that mushroom. So I got it the wrong way. You have to push it hard enough to get past that mushroom. I forgot about that. Okay. So, yeah, I was right about getting stuck at something here, but it was when you push it too slow, not too fast. Uh, okay, so, yeah, and it's just kind of... Just kind of wanders around over here. Wait, do I have? How am I doing with stuff? I feel like I'm missing a flower because <laughs> like, I don't remember there being two flowers outside. Hmm. Hmm. I'll leave that crate again because I might take hits from stuff while I'm going back. <laughs> uh, wait. The Hold on a sec. That midpoint came back. At midpoint. Yay! <laughs> um, 
midpoints are forgiving at this particular area, I guess. I guess probably because it's low. Um, oh, look at that! Look at that! Can we actually, like, redo this minigame, too? Can we actually, like... We can! What the poop? What the poop? <laughs> okay, I'll do it one more time, I guess. So yeah, pay attention to the size of said balloon. Just pay atten pay most more attention to that on your timing than anything, I would say. And I'm just trying to burn time here by, by not doing my sequences too quickly until I need to, basically. And let's see if I can offset the timing of that balloon at just the right amount of times to be able to get it to pop in his face and not mine. I think it's going to pop the next time it's over on my side, unless I'm too long. I'm just going to try and retime it there. Oh, 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 oh. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> There's definitely skill to it if you know the size of the balloon of when it'll pop. But if you don't, well, good luck. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Victory is mine once again. Oh wait, it doesn't even... Yeah, normally when you go through a door, uh, it's one way. It'll kind of board itself up, but not there. Nope, not there. Anyway, I gotta keep looking for flowery goodness. Uh, yeah, I was, I was down... Wait, hold on a sec. Is it possible to get that chomp rock over to that far left side? I don't think it is. No, it's not. It just goes below the mushrooms. I thought maybe if I could push a chomp rock over here, it would, you know, kind of kind of knock itself into something and reveal something that I might have missed, but I guess not. Um, so yeah, I was definitely down here before, and I was on, uh, down on the other side because that other flower. So I, I guess it's safe to assume that I've cleared it out, but if I don't... That could be very sad. <laughs> um, what's my star count? It should, yeah, I thought it was at, still at 30. Okay. So, so, yeah, just be careful not to mess up too badly here. Because <laughs> I'm going to try getting out of here. And, oh, I actually don't need the rock there. I thought I needed to rock. Oh, that's in a later level that I need the rock near the end to actually... Yeah. Oh, yeah, this isn't even the end anyway, so I was thinking of another level. Because the uh, other level, after you get the Chomp Rock past a certain point, you automatically transition into said other area and whatnot, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna bash these with my head here. It's nice and soft, it won't cause Yoshi any concussions or anything like that. And... I'm just gonna kinda wander around here until I possibly find if everything is cleared out here because you never know oh yeah that's it's kind of a did i just get another oops did i just get another flower there i did not what did i hit with my <laughs> with my egg there it was another spore it might have been but yeah um when you shoot eggs through these odd dirt shaped block things whatever you want to call them they they don't go through in straight lines in this particular game. They kind of skim along the edges. Oh, 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 hidden, hidden, you see that? You don't see that on the camera yet, do you? There we go, yeah, that appeared when I got... Oh shoot, that's right there, that's right... Can I go? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that appeared when I um, popped down into that post. Like, that's why I want to pound all the posts that I see. Uh, anyway, this one is a, I guess you could say, a hidden area of just coins, if I recall correctly. I don't think there's any sort of flowers or whatnot, but we will see. I go, no, 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 I don't want to get slid off the, oh, shoot! Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think those are red coins anyway. You could tell the red coins from the regular coins, if I recall correctly, by just slight diff color differences in this game. So I don't see anyone's there, and yeah, I, I can't get that to respawn. So I'm just gonna assume that the coins on the left and right side there's the right and left side there were just regular coins. Oh no, wait, this was the level I was thinking of. Yeah, because after this point, you end up at the end of the level. Now, for this one, you just want to get it up to there, and jump up there, and go all the way up here. Oh, that was the last red coin, okay. Woo! I'm glad I didn't miss anything there. <laughs> yeah, I got... Because I was pretty sure it was just the coin bonus area, and I was right. So now... 
We are at 100% for the level, but don't get cocky. There could be something that'll knock those stars right out of you at the end here. Like maybe these shy guys. Maybe if you got too hasty, you would be able you get a shy guy in your face. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you get a piranha plant in your face. I should refill my eggs for the yeah, next level. Just just for the sake of making sure everything it actually forget it. <laughs> Oh shoot, I, I touched my- oh, that could have been bad. See, what I did there, um, I licked into the piranha plant and not that shy guy to get the one up. What, and I did that as the piranha plant was dying. So the piranha plant is still there, even though it's dying. And if I would have rammed myself into that shy guy, I would have taken a hit and then my star counter would have started counting down. And then I would have lacked my 100% any. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh yeah, it's a flower for a bonus challenge. 50-50 when you got all the flowers at the end. Yeah, 100%. Oh yeah. <laughs> good times. Looking good so far. Three up for 300 points. Flip cards get items. Is this the same? Yes, it is. Okay, so when I get something good, I'm just gonna quit this time. No, uh, that that means nothing. <laughs> it's just a toady. Ah, oh, I got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's toadies which are blank spaces of sorts too. But well, well, I'm just not having luck. Oh, by the way, um, uh, this is where you can change your control schemes. See, patient, hasty. See, push twice to throw instead of release to throw, but I like push twice to throw. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part, when I potentially, maybe, might be 100% another level. Maybe. We shall see. <laughs>